Among the most common uses of Notion are project management and goal tracking, and with a little bit of Notion wizardry, you can automatically calculate and visualize the progress of your projects and goals for new insights and helpful database views. So I'm going to walk through two practical examples to demonstrate how to calculate and visualize your progress. And for your reference, as you practice these concepts, you can access those sample databases as templates on Notion VIP, which I'll link to in the video description. So if you're familiar with my other resources and my bulletproof methodology, you know that my core principle for any Notion workspace is to centralize information within related master databases and then create contextual views for accessing that information. So in the case of project management, we have a centralized master projects database and then a centralized master tasks database. And that tasks database contains all tasks for all projects. And those two databases are related using relation properties. So for any task, you can choose its project from the projects database. And this is going to offer a variety of benefits. One such benefit is the ability to open up a project and see a filtered view of the tasks database that displays only the tasks for that project. But it's also going to allow us to automatically display the progress of each project as a percentage of its completed tasks. And this is accomplished using a rollup property. So generally speaking, a rollup property takes all related items for an item in a database and it can retrieve information for those related items. So in the case of these projects, we want to retrieve the complete property. We want to pull in the checkboxes for all of this project's related tasks. So I have this rollup property pre-configured. Let's display that. So this is a rollup property. It's called progress. And when you create a rollup property, you configure three settings. So the first setting is the relation. That is the property, the relation property that you want to use to retrieve information. So in, in this case, we want to retrieve information for all related tasks. We choose the tasks property. And then the property setting, this is identifying the property from the related database that we want to retrieve. So in this case, we want to retrieve the complete property for all of the related tasks which happens to be a checkbox property. And because that property is a checkbox property, we have the ability to choose percent checked as the calculation. So we are specifying that we want this rollup property to display all of those retrieved items as the percentage of checked checkboxes. And that gives us the overall progress of the project. Again, this is displaying the percentage of checked checkboxes for all of the related tasks. So if we had multiple projects in this database, then it would be calculating the progress for each individual project as a percentage of its completed tasks. So let's move on to our second example, which is objectives and key results. And if you're unfamiliar with OKRs, OKRs is a system of tracking goals that originated at Intel, but it was popularized by Google in the 90s. And an OKR is going to comprise an objective and then multiple key results for that objective. So your objectives are going to be more aspirational and qualitative, such as launching an intermediate level course. And then for each objective, you're going to have multiple key results. And those are measurable steps towards accomplishing your objective. So for launching a course, you might aim to enroll 100 students, obtain 20 favorable reviews, and discuss the course on three different podcasts. So similar to the way that we related projects 
and their sort of child tasks. We have objectives and their sort of child key results. So the objectives would be their own master database and then key results would be their own centralized master database as well and those two databases would be related using relation properties where for each key result you could identify its objective from the objectives database and this is going to offer many of the same advantages that we saw with projects and tasks as well now what's different about key results is whereas tasks were tracked with a simple binary checkbox we have individual progress properties for each key result and the way that this progress works for individual key results is that we have a target value and a current value so in the case of 100 students our target value is 100 and as we make progress towards that goal we update the current value as students are enrolling in the course and then this progress property is going to automatically calculate the progress for each individual key result referencing that target value and that current value and again this sample database is available as a template on notion vip so you can easily copy and paste this formula if you want to reference it so each individual key result has its own progress property. So we are going to configure our rollup property for our objectives slightly differently. Previously, we configured the rollup property to display the percentage of completed checkboxes. Now, in this case, we're going to choose the key results relation as the relation for the configuration and what we want to retrieve from the key results database is the progress value for all related key results and remember we chose percent checked for calculation in the previous example and in this case we want to average all of the progress values for the related key results and that's going to give us the overall progress of each objective. So this progress property, both for objectives and for projects, is going to display the progress as a percentage. So what we can do is use a formula to display that percentage in a really aesthetically pleasing way as sort of a visual progress bar. So I won't get into all the details of how that formula works, but generally speaking, we have a formula that references the progress property and it uses the slice function to display a certain number of filled characters and a certain number of empty characters. Now in this example, we use filled and empty circles, but you could also use different shading characters. And there's actually another post about that on Notion VIP that covers all of the options and dives into exactly how the formula works. But for now, you can reference the accompanying post on Notion VIP to grab this formula, or you can download the template and copy it from there as well. But what this will allow you to do is to display this nice visual progress bar in, really in any database format. And it looks particularly nice in this gallery format where you have the name of the project or this could be an objective as well. And then beneath it, you can see your progress towards completing the project or objective. So that covers the calculation and visualization of progress for your projects and goals and be sure to reference that template as you practice these concepts and if you hit any roadblocks you can tweet at me at William Nutt.